I need to talk about Tadaimo Okairi. How it's not just gay. Gay. It's no mega verse. Gay. Super gay. Oh my god. So I I kind of have a love hate relationship like with this. Squared. <laughs> I kind of have a love hate relationship with this show because on one end, I think that the wholesome family aspect and like the it's two husbands good. thing is really good. I love it like, so much. It's like, done really well. There's there's the um the pitcher and the catcher right for the the male leads right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Here's here's the top guy. Here's the bottom guy. And in very t- stereotypical gay romance fashion, top guy is leading all the time and trying to save bottom guy from being such a little bitch baby. And it's cute and romantic. And it's just like, oh, it's so loving. And they have kids. And their kids are fucking cute. Oh my god, super cute. Oh. And then there's this the Omega verse. Be... Well, before before we get to that, before we tackle that, I want to say this might be one of the better uh presented yaoi's of like yeah a i have while. a huge problem with yaoi shows and uh yaoi just in general because a lot and of it BL. is super in, in in a lot of bl it's just super rapey i, I don't like so that type of energy rapey. there's so much ra- <laughs> there is it, it, actual so much rape in the in these and i'm just like yo what like the fuck? 90 plus percent of bl is either just rape fantasies uh really fucked up power dynamics or yeah. uh, very questionable age gaps. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. So that's why I was like, you know, it's this a- looks wholesome. It's got kids in it, so it's it has to be wholesome. And I'm, I'm like, thank God it is wholesome because it's a I, I it doesn't have to be wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's true. Ugh. It's got kids in it. It doesn't have to. Yeah. Yeah. But I have been really enjoying it. It's a serious every- breath of fresh air. Every single time they go into the Omega Verse stuff, though, I'm just I just start <sighs> shaking my right, damn let's, head because I'm just this. like, dude, I don't, I don't understand Omega Verse. I don't understand really? why someone. W- what I don't understand about Omega Verse is why would you create an alternate universe where being gay isn't a problem? People can be gay all day. No one has a problem with that. But if you're an Omega. Or a, a and you're dating an alpha or a beta or whatever. There's a there's a class system now. Like, why would you get rid of sexism and um, add classism <laughs> and homophobia? Like, why would you get rid of that? But then just reinsert it with more complicated loops. I don't get that. What's the point? What's the actual point? Why? For there to be Tum- a dynamic, I think is the Tumblr. Thing. Tumblr and Tumblr. <laughs> and Tumblr. Um, yeah, but. There's like there's so many good moments in the show, and I I can see why they went for the the Omega verse dynamic of like oh the so there there's the the two fathers right there's the Alpha dad and then the Omega dad, um and it's like I feel real bad for the Omega dad because it's like apparently in in this universe every single time it's mentioned that oh he's an Omega he was born on Omega he, his parents were Betas but they birthed an Omega and they they treated him with such like baby gloves like oh I'm so sorry that you're an Omega being being an Omega is really rough it's it's really tough life you'll never be happy and now like but it's like we're in the future he's married to an Alpha who absolutely fucking loves him he's not super rapey they have beautiful children together and, I, and it's they like, have he's... such a beautiful support system too yeah they have like good friends and I'm just like Every single time that it goes back into his past life, people keep dragging back the Omega dad into like, oh, yeah, your life isn't going to be that good because you're an Omega and this and that. And it's like, dude, he's moved past that. He has a good life right now. Why the fuck are you guys treating him like trash? Like, you guys are perpetuating the same fucking problem that you are cautious of. And I'm just like, I hate that. I think it's so fucking dumb. But I get that that's why they added that in to make that the dynamic of like, look, it doesn't matter where you think you're going to end up, and but uh, you can still end up happy. Like It, it doesn't matter that you think you, you're not worthy of this because that's what everyone thinks you're not worthy of. That doesn't fuck. Your worth is not valued at that. That's what I think is a very appealing thing about this show. It's very good. Yeah, and it shows actively that they're trying to move past it. And not just them either. A lot of society is trying to move past uh, these old stereotypes. And, and it's yeah. a bit of a reflection on the real world at that too which i do find to be very interesting it's you like know it is kind of it, it's kind of like theirs. i feel i feel like if if japan ever actually got over its homophobia they would just add something new on top of it like this i mean yeah so like 
my problem with the whole adding an Omega verse thing was just like you, we have these problems in Japan right now, you know, like literally only in, is it Shibuya? I think it's only in Shibuya that you're allowed to get married to same sex partners, like in one prefecture. I don't know if it's maybe, I don't know. I know. I know if you're talking, it's gotta be in a city because if you're out in the countryside, forget it. Yeah. It's like, they only started officially recognizing same sex marriages like recently and in one fucking prefecture. But it's like you have these exact same issues in modern day Japan. Why did you have to insert Omega verse when you could just have made it about gay guys adopting mm. kids? Like, because they don't even go into the whole like Omega verse thing about like, okay, what does it mean when it's an Omega dad? Like, I, I don't know any of this. I asked my wife about a lot of this stuff because she knows a lot about this. She writes fanfics. So and I was just like, I don't understand. It's like, okay, so when the Omega is ready to have a baby they just have a womb they just like it just comes in <laughs> like who who does what how does this work like i i don't need to know the specifics but at the same time i'm like why you're gonna create an alternate universe you better have everything planned out okay like, like what's that's my <laughs> behind this <laughs> i need to see the real i need to see diagrams i need to see birthing cycles like <laughs> someone everything. call the science team <laughs> <laughs> like does that mean an does an alpha woman just grow a penis? How does that work? She's she's selling me yes. Okay, see. So then, the, <laughs> does the omega just grow a womb? Like, they 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 omegas are born with both of them. <laughs> she's telling me. They're born with the womb. Okay. Or it comes in when they have puberty or something. That's so weird. Okay, but that's not that doesn't work in the guts, but okay, whatever. We're gonna move we're moving past this. <laughs> oh you, my god, don't no. I don't want to get into the whole scent thing. That was dumb. I don't care about that. <laughs> like Oh yeah, pheromones <laughs> are a thing in this. Yeah, world. there's freaking pheromones. There's pheromones and nodding and stuff. It's like let's add a little bit of bestiality. John Omega's is getting going such an education right in front of I our eyes. I hate. I hate Omegaverse. I think it's dumb. It's convoluted. It's complicated for no reason at all. Again, why get rid of homophobia and misogyny and sexism and misandry to only reintroduce it but worse in a more complicated way? Why? Why? Just write about the problems we have now, damn it. All right, Omegaverse rant aside, I think Tadaima Okairi is super cute, and it's a good story. Um, I'm, I'm actually really surprised at how much I like it, aside from the Omegaverse stuff. I, but That's I can... a big hurdle to get over, though. <laughs> it's not. See, the thing is, the Omegaverse it's stuff not. isn't even that big of a problem inside of, like, yeah, it's one of the main problems that the Omega Dad faces, but that's more of an internal struggle, you know? It's not mm -hmm. like it's not like they're attacking actual, like, Omegaverse issues. Mm-hmm. So, you texting my wife about this? <laughs> maybe. Maybe I'm talking to her literally right now. Like, 